If you are into complex sci-fi movies, leave it to Christopher Nolan to make a movie that goes over half of humanity's head. Tenet is the most scientifically complex movie by him up until this point, and it is also being regarded as one of the weakest because of the very same reason. So here we are, helping you understand this masterpiece so it can get the praise it deserves. Starting with the device responsible for all the temporal mess in the movie, the turnstile. Turnstile is the machine in the Tenet universe that people use to time invert themselves and the objects. According to the explanation given, turnstile can invert an object's entropy. To understand this, we need to understand what entropy is. By classical definition, entropy is the system's thermal energy per unit temperature that is not available for doing any work. In simple terms, Entropy of the universe can be seen as the record of everything that has taken place in the universe up until that point. Any process that cannot be reversed increases the entropy by a small amount, and any process that is reversible, like opening and closing of the door, does not change the entropy at all. Or we can say that it contributes a positive and a negative change, while the irreversible process can only contribute a positive change. This makes entropy always go in one direction, that is to increase. And because of this property, entropy is also known as the error of time, because it denotes the flow of time itself. What turnstile does by inverting an object's entropy is to make the object undo everything, making it contribute negative values to the universe's entropy. For example, if a bullet in a gun is a system with zero entropy initially, and after a few seconds someone shoots the bullet, since shooting a bullet is an irreversible process, because you cannot unshoot it back, the entropy increases. Now, if you take this bullet and reverse its entropy, it will be able to unshoot itself, adding a negative value to the entropy, making it back to zero, hence effectively moving back in time. Now that we are done with the maths, let's talk a little about the use of turnstile we saw in the movie. In the movie, the turnstile is divided into two sides, the red side and the blue side. The red side denoting present to future movement and the blue side denoting present to past movement. Same as the color coding in the final battle scene. Anyone who enters from red side will emerge from blue side with their entropy reversed and start going from present to past. In every use of turnstile, we either see two versions of the same person on both sides, either entering or leaving the machine at the same time. This happens because when the person enters the machine, it reverses their time scale at the exact moment making two versions of the same person exist up until that moment, and no version existing beyond that, like a car moving and drawing forward arrows on the road, but suddenly deciding to take a U-turn and kept drawing it. So now anyone moving on the road will see two arrows, one forward and one backward, and the arrows will stop appearing after the U-turn is passed. It's like one of those old musical cassette tapes, in which you could store two tracks on each side one normal on the forward side and one reversed on the other side and you had to flip the cassette to listen to the other track. The reason why people are so confused is because in the movie, both sides are playing at the exact same time. That's why we see two groups of protagonist and his team entering the turnstile at the same time in Sator's facility. Because at that exact moment, it's the end of track 1 and the starting of track 2, but the track 2 is reversed. Just in this case, the track 2 is the second half of track 1. So the end of the overall song had already occurred in the Stals 12. We just had to flip the cassette to understand it. If you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends and hit the subscribe button because there will be more explainer videos on Tenet in the future. So make sure you don't miss it because we live in a twilight world and there are no friends at dusk.